might have seen this pen already for March currently 8. Here is its official unboxing. Hey there, it's Grace. Welcome back to a pen unboxing. <laughs> All right, I have to confess that technically, technically the box I've done, I've unboxed, but I actually didn't open the pen yet. I haven't, um, I haven't opened this yet. So I only removed the, the wrapping um, to minimize the crinkly noise. Me no like that crinkly noise. I don't like that. Um, and besides, this is not an ASMR video. I will let you know when it's time for ASMR. That isn't now. Okay. Um, one thing about this is, this is a pre-owned pen. This is my first ever pre-owned pen. Um, I bought it from Pen Realm, Pen Realm of, um, um, who, who's the person? The Master Nibsmith himself, Kirk Spear. Oh, so, and also I'm assuming because it was pre-owned that all the extra bells and whistles that come with it will not be there. Okay, so regular old clamshell box and what? Oh, oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Wow. Okay, so as I said, there's no, there's nothing in here other than the pen and obviously the box it came in. Look at that beauty. Whoa. I've been after a couple of the number pens for a while and wow. Okay, look, come on. Okay, I did some research before. I knew I was getting the pen and I, I did some research before. The name Borgania. So the pen is, I should tell you what this pen is. This is a um, Platinum 3776 in the color Borgania. And um, I'll put the, the wording somewhere in here. Um, so you can see why I say Borgania. Actually, it references wine. The, the color, the word references wines produced in what is commonly known to English speakers as the Burgundy region of France. Look at that. Doesn't that look like a drink though? That, that looks like a bit of wine there. Oh, a, a, a little clap claret. But also I found out some little tidbit about this pen is the number 3776 is a reference to the height of Mount Fuji. How cool is that? <laughs> I love finding out these little extra tidbits about the pens I purchase. Um, okay, let's get to the pen. So we have, it's just a beautiful, gorgeous pen. The pen is 4.7 inches in length. Um, that's 120 um, millimeters. Wow, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Um, it is a demonstrator pen and it has all beautiful gold trim. Love that gold trim trim resin material. Um, slightly translucent. It's only slightly translucent, which, you know what I'm finding? I don't like fully, um, like, I, I'm not in the zone right now of getting pens where you can see everything. I like, like, there's a hint that you can see through, but it's, you don't see everything. The cap is called a slip and seal. Oh, yes. When you twist it open, there's a little, wow, okay. Um, the cap is called slip and seal. It's a mechanism that prevents ink from drying out for up to, get this, 24 months. What the hey? Okay, so um, a little bit more about the pen. The top and bottom is, is almost like less cigar shaped and more like a, a dome shape, you know, cigar shapes come like, kind of like almost pointy. This has the dome shape. This has the dome shape at the top, which is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness. Um, the cap has a wide gold band at the base. And let me, let's, let's do an opening first because I'm going to take off the cap. So let's start. One. One and a half. I'm going to put that down for now. But the, don't go no, don't go nowhere. Stay right there. Behave yourself. Um, the cap has a gold band. Let's see if I can get. What does it say there? The number three seven seven six. So beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that. I don't know if it, it'll pick this up. I love that. There is a bit of burgundy between the ring, the two rings, the big cap band. And then the ring. I love that that touches. To me, that's that's fascinating. Okay. Um, it has a really wide clip. Oh, it's a nice substantial clip too. Yeah, it has a really wide clip. I like that. I actually like that. Um, so after my Benu pen unboxing, um, you found out that I really don't like glitzy pens. Although one pen made it in that lineup, which was the Bennu Euphoria Earl Grey. Most of my pens are basically really simple, really just, it's, it's just, I don't know what it is. I just want to have the pen and a beautiful pen and then the writing experience is the next thing. So I love simple shapes, simple designs for the most part, because the, the menu spoils that like as an absolute. Um, oh my God, I just, I cannot get over how pretty this pen is. Wow. Okay, does the cap post? How does the cap, how does the pen feel? How does the pen feel? It feels a bit short there. It definitely feels a bit short. And you notice because it's a pre-owned, um, it's got some little ink there which I'll have to go and wash out, clean out, because I'm sure he tested the nib and he had to put ink on it. So, the grip is a bit short from what, from how I'm thinking it. Let's see. You know, I have this thing where this line has to meet the, 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 the nib, so I gotta line it up. I gotta line it up, people. That feels much better. This is probably one of the few pens that I will cap as I write. Oh, that feels so good. As a matter of fact, the grip is short, really very short. And can I feel the threads? Can I feel the threads as I'm, I can feel them, but I'm not, they're not in the way. No, they're not in the way. The grip is really short. I do love that, um, that band. I do love that. I just, I, the whole, oh my gosh. I just love, I am so deep down this pen hobby. It's amazing to me how I just, anyway, hmm. Um, I like how classy the pen is. The pen really is just a beautiful instrument. It really is. I love how classy it is. It's like an, like an, like an elegant, like I could sit, see me sitting down in, in the, um, at my writing desk and taking this pen out and just, oh, that's how classy and elegant it is to me. Um, the nib is 14 karat yellow gold. Come on, there we go. Um, can we get any closer? Yes, there we go. Uh, has a P on it, 14 karat. And the number 3776, it's a beautiful nib. It's gorgeous. Um, this is a medium, if I'm not mistaken. I will look up and make sure that, that I know what it is. I think it's a medium. There's a, there's a actually a, oh, look at that. This is one of those nibs that has a, the cute heart shape. Can I get the angle? Oh, there we go. The cute heart shape on it. That's really cool. I don't know that I have a pen that has the, one of the, the heart shape has the breather hole. Anyway, the ink capacity for the converter. Let me make sure it does. It did come with a converter, right? Yes. Okay. The ink capacity. Nice. Ink capacity for the converter is 
um, if I'm not mistaken, I remember reading it, it's almost one millimeter. It's less than one millimeter, um, 0.82 milliliters to be exact. Okay, that's what it is, that's what it is. <clears throat> oh my word. Okay. All right, let's get to comparisons. We'll put that in the center there. Um, so Platinum 3776, I am going to, uh, just a random selection of pens I pulled out. This is my Hung Dian, um N23. So it has that same shape at the edge, which is kind of cool. And then this one is my Jinhao X750. So we're in the same comparison that's slightly larger. And then this is my Narwhal Horizon, which is definitely much, much smaller. I mean, larger rather. And then we have my Metropolitan Pilot Metropolitan. So yeah, these are interesting. And then for 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 um for funsies, I thought I'd get out my Pilot E95S. So in terms of comparison, it's kind of right in the middle of all these pens. Most of my pens are much like the Platinum 3776, all in that length. Um, let's do caps off. <clears throat> Sometimes I forget. Sometimes I forget which, which, is it a screw? <coughs> Is it a screw on? This one has ink on it. You know what? I'm going to wipe that ink off. I'm looking for my cloth, which is on my shoulder. Seriously. Anyway, I'm going to see. I got a little bit in there. I'm going to wipe that ink off so it doesn't show up like it did just now. Um, here we go. This one, we know that that's going to be. That's interesting. The it, this three center pens are still all the same, all the same length. This the Hongdae and has looks like it has a lot, almost like a larger nib. But if you notice, the um, these three are basically the same again. Um, if I'm thinking about, it's strange that I don't. I should not have gotten something that had ink in it. I don't find that I cap, I don't cap this pen, but this feels fine. And these two are practically, practically the same length. A little smidge off. You can see the bottom there. Okay, I understand. It's that, that that's much of a, a difference in length. I need to cap it. And this one, I definitely cap this because this, this, this always, this is just way too short. But yeah, that's uncapped. Let me get to, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse out this nib and then do um, a writing sample. So yeah, let me get to that. And I will be, I hate that I did that. Dang it. I don't know if you can see that. It bugs me. It bugs me, but that's okay. And I can't get rid of it either, so. Alrighty, let's get to rinsing this puppy out and then seeing, then inking it up. And I'll show you which ink that I am inking it up in. Alrighty, I have cleaned it out and a little bit of water. And I'm ready to ink it up. And I'm, I'm, I chose to this one is Iroshizuku Yuyake. This was one of the 2023, one of six 2023 favorite inks that I used in 2023. Yes, how about you be redundant with the word 20, with the number 2023 and say it like more times. Yeah, let's do that. That's a beautiful orange. And then this one is Shikiori, a sailor, sailor Shikiori Okuyama. I think that's... I think that's the name. If I got the name incorrect, I'll put it on the screen. Anyway, so this one is a beautiful um, dusty pinkish color, and this one is an orange. I want to go with this one. 
because I have something, I have an ink that I want to, I have a pen that I want to put this in. And obviously, I'm going to be using this for currently inked for March. So there you go. Anyway, let's get, let's get to see how, if we can do that. I think I might change my mind. Who knows? I might change my mind. We'll see in a minute. Nope, only getting bubbles. One second. That's much better. And I don't need much. Yuyaki is a beautiful color. All right, let's get my notebook out. This is my Iraful um, ink flight and new pen notebook and i have the page all set up because that's how i roll boom 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 okay get to it grace come on girl all righty here we go what do we have here this is see i'm thinking maybe i need to am i getting it all over me no this is the platinum Oh, this is an interesting, um, an interesting nib. What is my, oh, okay. Total mess up. This nib is not medium. It is soft, fine. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Platinum. Three, seven, seven, six. Soft. Fine. And I've forgotten what soft fine is about. Hmm. Let's see. Um, okay, if I remember correctly, soft fine is a nib where pressure can be applied so that you get some some pen, um, some um, variation in the line. So we'll see. We'll see. Let's do. Oh! Oh yes, and I'm pressing down. I'm noticing that I'm, this is a flippin' bouncy nib. Wow, I don't think I've ever had. Wow, this color is just absolutely gorgeous. And it's so fine. It is, it, the line is so fine, but I want to, I want to be able to, I'm going to, I'm going to zoom in. Hopefully this works. Okay. Let's just zoom in. So, and let's go here. I want you to just look at the nib. I'm going to do, look, see that nib? Wow. This will be good. Very fine across. Wow. So good. Okay, let's do, let's, I'm just out just a touch. We don't need to be all up in there. Um, let's do the ink. The ink, oh my gosh. It's so bouncy. Ooh. The ink is, um, I love how light the line is. I go from periods, I don't know if anybody's like me, I go through periods where I really like the fine nibs and then I go through a period where, oh, I really want to write with a, a, a line, more line variation, that some a nib that gives me more line variation, whether it's a broad or a medium. Wow. Okay, let's do my fast writing to see how the nib and the ink keeps up with my pangram. <clears throat> was interesting. 
this is a really scratchy, scratchy nib. Um, more scratchy than I prefer, but I didn't un... I, it's not that I... How did I put this? It's not that I didn't... That I didn't like the scratchy. It's just more than I'm used to. And as I'm writing... Um, let's... We'll do that one. As I'm writing... That nib, that nib is just bouncing across the page. It's just bouncing, which is absolutely fascinating. Oh, it kept up all of that too. In the, um, to get that soft line, that soft, fine nib variation, um, quick writing does not necessarily give you that. Not that I write quick with my with my pens anyway. With my Yeah, I don't write, generally write fast with my pens. Um, oh, that's nice. Oh, you did get some pen variation right here. Some line variation right there. And little, little there. It's an interesting, this is my first soft, fine nib. I've never had an, a nib like this. I am liking this sucker. I am, oh, oh my goodness. Okay, let's get to the pen evaluation. Um, remember we have six things I evaluate all my pens on. I evaluate them on, first one is uniqueness. The uniqueness of the pen. Now, if you're looking at the pen, the pen isn't necessarily a unique thing, as in it's nothing else looks like it. There are a lot of pens that look, have the same makeup, you know, a clip, a band, and um, body. But for me, this is all subjective, remember, this is a quite unique pen. I, th I think we're in the, I think we're in the seven range at least. This, I like the, I like it, um, it's not extraordinary, you know, it's not down that line, but it's not it's not necessarily a common a common thing either. I it's just a beautiful, beautiful instrument. Alright, um ease of use. Let's do that. The ease of use, remember, is the performance. Um, how easy it is it to feel, how does it feel? Um, how does it feel ergonomically? And ease of use at the moment, it feels good in my hand, and I'm gonna have to put butt in there. And I'm gonna have to tr use it over time to figure out why I put a butt in there. So the ease of use, I wanna say, I wanna say eight, but I can't, so I'm gonna give it a seven. I tell you, that, that bouncy is just delightful delightful, absolutely delightful to, to use. Um, feel in hand. The feel in hand, especially when I post it, the feel in hand is, it's, it feels really good. I mean, none of this gets in the way. I don't, oh, it's, I, I actually like it. I'm gonna put this up there just every single time I use that nib and I see the bounce. That just throws me off. Um, the feel in hand is really good. I'm, I am, oh, I love that. Okay, style. Style is, um, remember, is it unassuming? Is it colorful and unusual? I'm gonna, because it's an elegant style, I'm gonna put this one, I think it's really a beautiful, it's not ostentatious, it's not in that vein. Um, it's not opulent. But it's not, it's more, it is more in the, the, the spectrum is um, conservative, conservative to opulent. I'm thinking it's more in the opulent end of things. But remember when I put the number here, it's not, it's not a, a rating of the pen. It's just a rating of the style particularly. So if I give a style um, a two, that's just because it's on the conservative side rather than the opulent side. So I'm gonna give this a three, 
Remember, it's not a bad number. It just tells me where it is on the scale. And um, the next one is writing experience. It's so different. Oh my word, it is, it is scratchy. It is definitely more scratchy. I'm, I'm a buttery smooth type of, of pen, um, pen, pen enthusiast, I guess. I don't know. Um, it, but it, it is scratchy, but it's not overly scratchy. Plus that bouncing. Oh my God. Go get yourself a soft nib, people. Oh my goodness. I'm the writing experience for right now is I think it's going to go up. Oh my gosh. I think it's going to go up. I really want to give it a nine, but it's not there yet. I think over time that number is going to go up. I truly believe that number is going to up. And then value. Never put in value because I've got to use the pen over time to give it a true value. Value for money. Value for all that it is. So, yeah. I think this pen is an absolute beautiful addition to my pen collection. I am loving the color. Um, I just happened upon, I don't know, you know how you go down those rabbit holes and you go, you start looking at something and something, I was, I wasn't, I didn't go to pen realm to look at pens. I saw, I was researching, I remember researching something and pen realm came up and it said vintage pens or um, pre-owned pens. And I'm like, ooh, what's that? That's how this pen came into my possession through a research of something totally, totally random. Nothing to do with going to look for this pen. I do know that compared to when I first started down this pen hobby road, um, between then and now, I realize my pen, my what I look for in a pen, I'm, very, I'm much more discerning. Um, I will quickly knock out a pen. Now that pen might be knocked out in that moment, but down the line, it I might like it again for some reason. Um, I'm very discerning. And I looked at this, I remember looking at this pen, I'm thinking, oh, that's really lovely. A pen has to capture me right away. And I looked at all the other pens. I looked at pages and pages of pens, but the minute I saw this one, I kept, after uh, looking at pages and pages of pens, I realized I really like this pen. So after a f quite a few minutes of going down that list, I went back and the pen was still there, thankfully. Um, so I got it. I put it in my cart and I quickly purchased it. Um, I am really pleased with this addition to the family. Welcome to the family, Platinum 3776. Take a seat, stay a while. Alrighty, um, that's it for this new pen, Platinum 3776 with a soft fine nib. Oh my God, the soft fine nib. I am going to have to get me another one of them things because all of this writing, oh, I have to use this with a, a really good shading ink, which this one is. This one is shading pretty well, as you can see. Oh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to start using this this month. Oh my goodness gracious, yes. Although I have to let you know, this pen sat there for a bit. It took a while to get in and then it sat there for a bit because I had to do all the videos and I'm like, I have a pen to unbox. And finally, she got unboxed. Look at her, look at her in all her beautiful glory. Alrighty, that's it for now. Toodles, bye. <laughs>